This YouTube series will cover material that we cover in our Introduction to Astronomy class from a meteorite found in Antarctica from the planet Mars and the search for life, all the way through to supernovas and black holes. The Sun is powered by a thermonuclear reaction. In the core of the Sun, where conditions are extreme, the temperature of the core of the Sun is 15.5 million Kelvin. So in the core, the temperature is 15.5 million Kelvin, not the thousands of Kelvin we see on the surface. The pressure is billions of times the pressure that we feel on the surface of the Earth. And in those conditions, combined with uh, tremendous density, the density at the center of the Sun is 20 times the density of iron. Put all that together, and an interesting reaction takes place, an explosive reaction, known as thermonuclear fusion. The hydrogen that's so ubiquitous, that's so common in the Sun, four hydrogen atoms combine to form a helium atom. They fuse together, and that process is so efficient that it produces a tremendous amount of energy. Where does that energy come from? If you weigh the four hydrogen atoms going in, and you weigh the helium atom coming out, there's a little bit of missing mass. The mass is converted into energy via Einstein's famous formula, E equals mc squared. The missing mass times the speed of light squared gives us the energy created in this thermonuclear reaction, causing the sun to want to explode. There is a tremendous amount of gas pressure pushing out here. The sun wants to explode, but it is kept from exploding by the gravitational energy. Gravity pushing in. Gravity pushing in. Gas pressure pushing out. A balance. The sun is in this exquisite balance, and until it runs out of fuel four and a half billion years ago, that balance will be maintained. We call that balance hydrostatic equilibrium. The Sun is in hydrostatic equilibrium. Most intriguingly, what's cool about this reaction is not only does the hydrogen form helium and energy, but it creates another little particle known as a neutrino. Neutrinos are what are, <laughs> they're called dark matter, okay? They're very difficult to detect. Neutrinos are so small that they pass between the electrons and protons in an atom. But occasionally, a neutrino will actually strike a proton or electron, creating a little flash of light. So using these neutrino detectors that are present on Earth, we can actually detect small bits of the billions of neutrinos passing through every square inch of our body every second as a result of the sun. And by capturing those, we can study what's going on at the center of the sun, that thermonuclear fusion reaction. What we're going to discuss next is what about other stars? Though all stars are powered by thermonuclear fusion, not all are yellow. Some, because of their larger mass, are significantly more energetic than the sun, some significantly less.